Hey guys, Joe Renneton here from Thinkaholics. We're back at Midwest Dreaming. I'm here with Dee and Francis from FastForms. So what can you tell everybody about what you guys do? So FastForms is uh, Salesforce's first native form and survey builder. And essentially, you know, when we came into the ecosystem, the way that you'd build forms is uh, using very complex connectors. And then you'd have to sort of like map fields from outside into Salesforce's fields and then bring that data into Salesforce. So we essentially developed a very elegant way to, and very simple way to create very, very complex processes involving data collection with forms. So that's essentially what we do in a nutshell. Okay, so um, I'm familiar with web to lead forms, right? right? Which it generates a very basic piece of code that then I have to go and do a whole lot of work to get it actually working, right? So um, what are you guys doing differently? Like how are you helping you know me build the forms faster, easier, maybe look better? So I mean, with web to lead, you're thinking about one object in Salesforce, True. And essentially, you know, bringing data into one object. But what FastForms can do is that you can bring data into multiple objects all at the same time. So essentially, you can uh, build forms that build data, that bring data into up to about 15 objects. So that's complex relationships. But the way that you basically create that is essentially in a WYSIWYG editor, just point and click. You're dragging and dropping. So you're selecting your object structure, and then you. You know, all your fields are there. You drag and drop that onto a form. You organize it the way you want to, and then you, and then when you're ready to publish it, you essentially take a piece of code and you drop that on your web page. And if your web page has existing HTML and CSS, it's going to recognize the CSS on that page and just sort of adopt the style. Uh, so then the form also has your branding elements. So it essentially is a very sophisticated piece of technology uh, that's under the hood, which does, makes things seem very easy. To okay. Complex relationships. And um, in terms of like, you know, like maybe I have like a date field or something. Do you guys have stuff that kind of helps that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, all of the fields that you have in Salesforce are basically recreated within the form automatically. So we've taken your field types, field validations, whatever configuration you have set up in Salesforce already, and we pull that in. So you don't have to worry about setting all of that up separately. And as you mentioned, we can work with basically any object in Salesforce. So any standard or custom objects, there's no limitations there. We also can work with lookup fields. So that's a really unique feature that FastForms has where we can allow you to look up your existing records in Salesforce. So for example, if you're building out like a event registration form and you want someone to sign up for a bunch of dreaming events all through the same form, you can set that up and sign them up for a number of campaigns. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of use cases around that uh, with fast forms. All right, so you, you guys have talked about you know the the form builder and, and like what people are most used to using, but what other things are you guys doing? Well, you know, we've got a ton of exciting stuff. So one of the things that we're, that we're seeing a lot of lift off with is we have a product called FastForms Native Cloud. And this is for organizations in the health, public, and financial sector where they have uh, data compliance uh, regulations, very strict data compliance regulations and data security regulations. So essentially, uh, Native Cloud uh, is built entirely on the Force.com platform, which means the data never leaves the Salesforce Force.com platform. So that makes it HIPAA compliant and PEPEDA compliant. And it's essentially a great product. We're seeing a lot of lift off with that one. And then the other thing that's exciting and that we're actually working towards is uh, we've developed a lightning component that will enable you to de uh, deploy FastForms into Community Cloud. There's been so much demand from the Salesforce community for something like this, and it's actually going into open uh, closed beta next week. So I would say look out for it. Okay. So with the Lightning one um, in community, what would be an example of a, a form that people would put in there, maybe uh, you know to request something or things like yeah. that? I mean, think of a public sector organization. So let's say, think of a municipal a department in a municipality, and they have a bunch of end users, which are really residents of that particular municipality. They log in and they file complaints like, hey, I've seen this pothole, or, you know, I'd like to report a pothole, I'd like to report a... Um, uh, electric wires that are sort of like dangling off the poles, uh, then essentially they would log into a communities portal, they would fill out a fast form, that data would go into Salesforce, kick off an approval process, uh, which would then notify somebody about this pothole, and then that would automatically generate a service request to fix the pothole. And so that would go into queue. And if the person wanted to come back and look at you know the status of their particular case that they reported, then they could, because then the form would also pre-populate the most updated information from Salesforce into that community portal. So that's essentially the power of Yeah, the yeah I mean, that makes sense, right? If, if they were just filling out a support ticket, then either I would have to make a bunch of custom fields 
that really wouldn't be a elegant, easy looking, a good looking form, right? To tailoring it to it, and as you pointed out earlier, you know, it's not like a web to lead form; it's a web to, or it's a you know, commute, yeah, web to anything. So. Yeah. Yeah, and there's there's also other use cases where you can set up entire flows and processes within the community. So say you need to send something up for approval or uh, for review by another party who's also logging into the community. You can submit your data, you can use the community sharing uh, capabilities to share that information with someone else, have them approve or review it, and then get all of that uh, collected in Salesforce. So there's definitely a lot of use cases around using uh, forms in communities. Yeah. And then to your HIPAA example, right, with the municipality, this specific scenario, yeah. They're logged in securely on Salesforce. Everything's secure, HIPAA compliant. Right within Salesforce, yeah. yep. and Absolutely. in fact, that is one of the largest use cases that's been in, that's been demanded, which is communities integration with native cloud, which is a HIPAA compliant version of Fastforms. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of demand in the ecosystem. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, if people want to try it out and you know get their hands on it, what's the best thing for them to do? Easy peasy, go to the App Exchange, search for Fastforms, click download Fastforms, get it into your uh, sandbox or production org, and then you're essentially off to the races. If you do want to get started with Native Cloud, uh, just l click on the question mark within the application, ask somebody to activate Native Cloud for you, and we'll activate it on our end, and then you know there's a bunch of steps and you'll be up and running pretty soon. All right, well, D. Francis, thanks so much for your time. Yeah, thank you yeah, for your time. Thanks. Hey, if you like our videos, please be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter.